In this video, I wanna talk a little bit about the Outriders demo that just came out for PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, PS4 and PS5. It's on all five of those platforms. You can go download it for free right now. But I wanna talk a bit about it while I think about it, how it plays and what I've seen so far. So obviously Outriders is one of those looter shooter RPG type games. This is kind of in the vein of Anthem or Destiny or uh, even the Division 2 a little bit. And I wasn't overly excited going into the demo for this game. I was, you know, those aren't exactly my sort of games, just, you know, shooting enemies over and over and over and over until they're dead, bullet sponge type things. That's generally not my sort of game. So going into this, I was a bit skeptical, but honestly, I had a great time and I want to tell you about it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the classes. There are four classes in the game, Devastator, Technomancer, Pyromancer, and Trickster. These all have their own skill sets and skills that you can choose from. I think there are about 10 skills in the game for each class, and you can slot three of them at a time. And they have these pretty extensive skill trees that sort of go three branching paths that have like a specialized focus. So you can sort of mix and match how you want to spend your skill points in their skill point trees, you know, making your own custom build, which I really like. I'm a huge build person, and I really like that. Obviously, we weren't able to get too and in deep into it in the demo because you can only do about five or six missions total, I think, even though you can replay some of them again. But you can only get up to like, I don't know, maybe eight or nine or 10 if you really want to grind it out. So you're not getting like a ton of, you know, of those skill trees unlocked. I want to say the first hour of the game or so, I was just not feeling it. I was going like, okay, this is a very bullet spongy game. You're just unloading into enemies like clip after clip after clip. I'm like, this is this is like the division all over again. Uh, I, I just didn't really care for it. But then as you got, once I hit about level 6, I think it was because of the class I picked, which is Devastator. Just doesn't start out with the best abilities in terms of what you can do. Once I hit about level 6, I started to really see the concept of the game. The developers themselves have mentioned that this game is heavily inspired by games like Diablo, and I didn't really see it, but now I see it crystal clear. Essentially, what separates this between games like that, The Division, Anthem, etc., is in those games, I feel like the primary mechanics were shooting, and you used your abilities to augment that. In this game, the primary mechanics are abilities, and you use your shooting to augment that. It reminds me of, you know, for lack of a better game, Diablo. It's not, you know, doesn't look anything like Diablo. The, it doesn't have the lore of Diablo. It does, it's got guns. It's futuristic. But in the sense that it's almost like an RPG from the over-the-shoulder view, where as soon as you get into a mission, everyone is charging headfirst into like 100 enemies, just pummeling them, unloading their abilities as fast as they can, and then maybe you use your gun to pick off the stragglers, kind of like you would auto-attack in a game like Path of Exile or Diablo. And once I realized that's how it was, and we started like actually increasing the difficulty, getting more loot, just crashing into enemies, figuring out your abilities, I couldn't get enough of it. And like right as I was like really getting into it, the demo ended, and I was like, oh my god. And so we started doing, you can replay some of the demo missions, you know, over and over, but obviously they're pretty quick. And once you get the hang of it, you can only go up to so high in the difficulty levels in the demo. You can go up to about difficulty five, but there are 15 difficulties, you know, that and keep increasing your loot chance and better quality loot. Another thing I want to mention is that the loot, you know, it has rarities like you would find in a typical RPG. It's got common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, whatever. Um, and they have abilities on them, like armor and weapons have abilities. You know, maybe they have freezing bullets or toxic bullets on the guns, or maybe the armor, you know, buffs one of your abilities. So if you slot that ability... Uh, and you get a several armors that buff that ability in some way. Maybe you have a really effective that sort of ability, so you want to use that. And that's sort of how you create your builds between the armor and weapons, um, the abilities on the armor. I don't know if there's going to be armor sets. I highly suspect there will later in the game. And, you know, your skill tree is how you want to mix and match your skills as you see fit. You can respec, so obviously you can try out different builds, which is really cool. But something I found out really recently about this game as well is that there are no microtransactions in the game, and it is not a games-as-a-service type game. It is literally just a game that you can play online with your friends up to three player. And I imagine that, you know, the login kind of reminds me a little bit of the way Diablo 2 was that you had to log in so that it could prevent people from cheating, etc. cetera. Uh, but, you know, that's really what the, the sense I get out of the login. Otherwise, you'd just be able to play. Another really cool thing about it is that it has cross play, meaning that, you know, if you're playing on PlayStation, you can play with people on Xbox. If you're playing on PC, you can play with people on PlayStation, etc. cetera. Uh, five different platforms, both last gen and this gen. Uh, makes it really accessible. And as I mentioned earlier, the demo is out. Um, I don't know how long the demo is going to be around. I imagine it'll be around uh, until the game comes out on April 1st. But, you know, you can go play, check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Go have some fun with it. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I just generally enjoyed it, and I just kind of wanted to get the word out about it. 
That's not to say the game is perfect, though. There, It is rough around the edges, particularly with the cutscenes and the story a little bit. I like the story. I like the the way the game has a, you know, very, it seems a bit more story-driven than, you know, an ARPG would be, or your typical uh, looter shooter, so to speak. I really like that, but, you know, some of the cutscenes glitch out, or the frames drop really low, the voice acting is kind of cringy at some places, and, you know, the gameplay itself needs some polishing still. Um, if you play the demo, you'll notice, like, some abilities bug out, or things like, you know, don't, you know, the animation doesn't render quite properly here and there. I'm assuming that stuff's all going to get, you know, ironed out before release, hopefully. Uh, if not, I'm sure it will be after release, which is always good. Anyway, out of all the games I've played that are sort of in this looter-shooter genre uh, of RPGs recently, I think this one has the most potential. If it can if it can really iron out those rough edges, I think it'd be a really, really fun game, uh, particularly if they add content to it down the road in the terms of, you know, expansion or something like that. It'd be really good. Um... And one thing I really appreciate about it as well is there's no PvP in this game, which means the game doesn't need to be balanced for PvP and PvE. It's just a PvE-only game. They have no, uh, as far as I know, they are not planning on adding PvP. So that really allows them to balance the game for you as the, you know, the team going against these enemies, and I, I really like that. For those of you out there who have played Outriders or seen Outriders, what do you think? Am I, am I crazy here? Is this actually a looter-shooter RPG that could be good? Not saying it's brilliant, but could it be good? Could it actually be what those other games were trying to do? Could it finally bury Anthem uh, in games like The Division 2? What do you guys think? Let us know.